Welcome guys. In the last video we started with the concept of uh, senses and uh, this is a short video to uh, do one more program with the senses. And this program is going to focus on um, something called as the orientation sensor and we are going to do a small compass kind of an app with this particular sensor. So uh, let me go to the prerequisites what we need to know before we proceed with this i want you to remember three keywords here uh, this is something which is respect to the orientation sensor you can see that uh, there is an x there's a y and a z as we have already uh, discussed before so i want to know the role the rotation around the x axis is called as a pitch and the rotation around the y axis is called as a roll and the rotation around the z axis with uh, orientation towards y and z is called azimuth this is the word which I want you to focus on because azimuth gives the rotation or uh, let's say it says the angle between the magnetic north direction and the y axis around the z axis. Okay, so with this you can understand that uh, if it gives zero as the value it is mean it means it's pointing north and if it is 90 it is pointing east. If it is 180 it's pointing south and if it's 270 it's pointing west. I'm going to use this image in my app and based on the degree which my sensor returns i'm going to rotate that uh, the compass image so that it looks like a compass app which is working in your phone so let's get into the program here i have created um, a app which has an empty activity and uh, please note i'm not going to run this app on my emulator rather i'm going to run it on my phone because uh, emulator cannot uh, show me the degree of in which it is pointing the magnetic direction is not possible in an emulator maybe it is possible but it is kind of complicated so i'm going to use an actual phone for this so let's do the design uh, i'm going to first change the screen size and i'm going to remove this hello world and let's start with our code i'm going to convert this constraint layout into a linear layout and a vertical linear layout and the first thing I'm going to put is the uh, text view, which will just show me uh, in what degrees is my uh, image uh, right now pointing towards. So for this, I downloaded a, a map a compass image from the internet. So I want to copy that. And since you already know, I need to put it inside um, the uh, the resources folder in my project. So I'm going to go to the project. I have resources and specifically inside the drawable folder. I'm going to right click and paste that into my drawable folder and I'm going to put it in drawable not drawable version 24. So I'm going to put it in drawable folder and the file name is compass.png. I'm going to leave it as it is. I put that into my project. So my project has a drawable compass.png. Now with that I'll go to the next step which is the image view. I'm going to put the image view just below the text view but this time I already have the image. I'm going to choose that and you can see that it is taking the entire screen up uh, if you want you can fix that also so design i leave it up to you but let's make sure that the dis distance between these two is a little bit more so i'm going to give a margin uh, let's say 10 uh, db so and one more thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the layout and i'm going to give the gravity of the layout so that it always comes in the center with respect to over the screen size so that is done and if you don't want this page to be in the image to take the entire screen you can also say height is not wrap content rather you can fix the height according to however you want it let's say if for example if i'm giving 300 dp i can fix it in the fashion which i would like it so i'm going to stop with this and let's go to the properties first one text view i'm going to uh, programmatically i'm going to put the degrees in that so i'm going to put text view degree and uh, right now the text will just hold the word degree nothing else and uh, i'm also going to give a color and a font for that i'm going to give a font let's say uh, small caps and i'm going to say the size of this or the appearance of this should be somewhat large and if you want you can give a color to it i'll leave it up to you and i've kept the text view is ready next part for the image view i'm not going to change anything because uh, i've already given the picture all i'm going to do is the image is going to rotate based on the degree the, the phone is the sensor is returning to me so for that purpose let's go to the code the code is going to be a small one but if you remember the last code this is somewhat similar so i'm going to utilize the same concept as what we have done in the last program for sensors okay so here i'm going to first tell it implements sensor event listener so i'm going to do that 
and after that i am going to add implement methods i am going to implement those two corresponding methods which are required i am going to click on ok and uh, those are the two things which i require first thing and the second thing is that uh, i'm going to map all the controls which are there in my design so i'm going to start with the first one text view so i'm going to put the text view as uh, degree txt one and the second one is the image view so i'm going to say uh, compass img so i have got two things i've got the text view as well as the compass uh, img so i'm going to just first map them as soon as the program uh, the activity calls the on create so i'm going to start with degree text is equal to find view by id uh, r dot id dot uh, tv degrees the next one is compass img is equal to find view by id r dot id dot img compass which is there in our design that is done so the first part is done uh, and the third thing which I require here is the sensor manager. So I'm going to create something called the sensor manager and let's give a small letter sensor manager and this will be initialized as soon as your on create is called. So sensor manager is equal to get system service and I'm specifically looking for the sensor service of my system. So um, I'm going to fix that issue with uh, typecasting, typecast that sensor manager and I've got the sensor service. So this, till this we are done. Now uh, in this program I am also going to show you a simpler uh, idea of finding out all the sensors which are there in your phone. So in order to do, to want to check, if you wanted to check all the sensors which are there in your phone, okay, uh, including the make, the model and uh, whether it is there or not, all these things can be returned by the sensor manager to you. So let's do that and uh, either before we write the code part of the sensor itself first we have to register the sensor so in the last program what i did was i registered the sensor on resume and i stopped that uh, sensor on pause so i'm going to start with the first one on resume as soon as the program starts what do you want me to do okay so the, as soon as the activity is ready let's say that i would like to list all the sensors which are available in my uh, phone for that let's start with the code i'm going to create a list of sensor okay and i'm going to name it as sensor list is equal to from where would i get this i'll get that from the sensor manager dot get sensor list list of what type of sensor i'm going to just say um, sensor dot type underscore all all types of sensor not just one i want to see all the sensors which are available in my phone so wherever this code runs it will return the sensors which are available in that device so i'm going to just display all the sensors which are available using a uh, for uh, for each i'm going to just say sensor let's name it as s um, whatever is available in that list and i'm going to just put a log uh, dot d I'm going to put the logs tag as sensor and uh, comma s dot to string. So I'll get the entire list of string. So let's see the output of this. Okay, this is the output of the program which I just ran. And uh, if you see that I have got the sensors name and what are the sensors available in my phone, the uh, Note 4 phone, which I have connected it for development purposes. So here uh, you see the name of the sensor is available and who provided the sensor to that particular uh, phone. So the accelerometer is provided by Bosch and magnetometer is there in my phone, which is provided by Yamaha. And it goes on gyroscope um, and uh, uh, rotation vector, linear acceleration, step detector, step counter. And all these things are available in my phone right now as a sensor. So I'm going to focus on this sensor, which will give me the orientation of my phone. So with that in mind, let's go to the program. Since you have seen that I have uh, the orientation sensor in my program, let's start. Let's register that particular sensor to the program. So the next step is to um, ask the system to register this listener as soon as the program or the activity is launched. So let's write sensor manager dot register listener and i need to pass three parameters number one what is the listener or who is the listener second thing what type of sensor should i listen to and the third thing is uh, how long is the gap between uh, the the query which happens from my phone to the sensor which means uh, how long in a while i should go and ask the sensor what is the data so i'm going to start with all the values first thing what is the event listener this class is the event listener 
second one what type of sensor would you like me to query so i'm going to call sensor manager and i'm going to say get the default sensor for this type okay i'm going to call sensor dot type underscore orientation and the third parameter which i need to pass is the sampling period in um, in seconds so how how long do you want to give a gap between uh, the delay in between i uh, the query which i'm going to ask the phone to give me uh, what is the sensor's raw data which is available sensor manager dot there are uh, four types of delays available delay the fastest which means uh, there's no delay much it'll be like some zero microseconds or milliseconds so it'll be fastest which is not recommended because it will keep asking raw data from your sensor immediately but then in the last class uh, the last session what we had done was we had used the word normal the normal would take about 200 milliseconds before it goes and asks the uh, sensor to give me the new data and uh, ui is somewhat a little bit higher i think it takes around uh, 800 milliseconds before it uh, proceeds to go and ask the system to give, give you um, which is not even a second actually but then uh, this is used the ui part is used when for example if my if my app is changing based on the orientation of my phone say for example landscape and uh, portrait so if it if it is going to change that change if you see there's a small delay that small delay is because you have given delay as ui because it will not change immediately uh, as soon as it recognizes because the next time when i query if the orientation is changed i'll change my uh, activities layout so i'm going to choose uh, normal or you can also choose ui so last class i've chosen ui because sorry normal because uh, i don't want that uh, to always happen only when i shake so but here i need to make it ui because i'm going to change the ui compass to keep rotating so i want the rotation to happen whenever the sensor data changes in the ui so i'm going to just say delay ui so this is done so i've registered a listener as soon as the program starts and the second part is also let's finish i'm going to say on pause the moment you're going away from my app i would like you to unregister that listener so i'm going to say unregister listener in this class done so the first part of using a sensor is uh, implementing sensor event listener the second part is uh, to initialize the sensor manager and get the sensor service from your system and the third step is to um, make sure that you have registered it appropriately and unregistered it also why i'm telling this is very important is because if you don't do this if you only register it starts listening and it'll never stop listening because uh, even if you move away from your activity and open some other app this will still be registered which means your battery will be consumed in the background because it's basically a service and you will not be seeing it anyway so uh, register and unregister now the last part what we need to do is what should i do when the sensor changes the sensor value will keep changing anyway so once it changes the value is passed to you and what you do with that is your wish so what i'm going to do here is number one i'm going to get remember that this is listening to orientation and orientation returns three values first one is azimuth and the second one is the uh, x-axis the pitch and the next one is the roll so i want the azimuth alone because that will give me the degree in which my phone is pointing towards so all i'm going to do here is i'm going to create a degree so i'm going to create an int let's say degrees or degree if you want to keep is equal to i'm going to convert uh, i'm going to say math dot round why i'm taking it as a round value is because i might get uh, 90 point something i don't want that let us keep it simple let's keep it as a, a, a round value which is coming from event dot values please note it is a float array which has three values i don't want all the three as i told in the beginning of the class i want only the first one which gives me the azimuth so i'm going to say values of uh, zero done you've got the degree now all i need to do is make sure that i print this degree on my label first step i'm going to do so i'm going to say um, degree txt the text view dot set text i'm going to say degree colon and i'm going to concatenate that with the degree which i just got from the sensor that's all this so this will keep changing the text view uh, data to whatever degree you're pointing to whichever angle it is pointing to the last step is to uh, rotate that image also based on which which side you're pointing by default all uh, your compasses point towards north so the picture which i downloaded also will be if you keep it straight it will point to north so uh, 
I'm going to tilt that uh, picture or, or rotate that picture in such a way that it matches to that degree. So I want to try if it is zero, not a problem, but anything else, I would like to bring it back to zero so that it will point north. So uh, I'm going to say compass image dot set rotation and I'm going to say minus degree which means if it is already for example if the value which you got is 90 which means it's pointing towards east and uh, i would like my image to rotate towards east so that it will show east so i'm going to say minus uh, 90 which means go back so that the, uh, the image will rotate in such a way that it points east in the front north will go this side so i'm going to say minus degree that's it let's run this program uh, i'm going to run this on my phone and i'm going to use visor to show it to you uh, as the demo because i cannot use my emulator here the output is and uh, since I'm using visor it might not be so clear but you can make out the, the program is working so right now if I point my phone uh, where the, in the direction which I'm sitting is right now east so if I point it towards east it's 90 degrees so my compass image is pointing east where I'm pointing my phone so if I want north if I change my phone's direction so this is the north which means 360 or 0 degrees that is north and uh, east is an uh, sorry east already is done so south is 180 degree and west is 270 degree so you have got the uh, degrees and your uh, working compass is there so based on where which direction your phone is pointing and the degree keeps changing since i'm point i'm sitting towards east i'm getting 90 degrees when i keep my phone straight so uh, this is your compass app with uh, sensor i would like you to try this and let me know if you have any clarifications thank you guys